guys. So welcome back to this uh, episode of uh, Currently in My Kitchen where today we'll uh, be doing a huge ice experiment uh, because I went to the supermarket and I got my hands on a packet of mushrooms after four months uh, in being um, in a lockdown situation. Uh, so uh, earlier uh, mushroom corn was so easily available but right now uh, most of the supermarkets don't have the supply. Uh, so anyways, I'll cut it sh uh, short. Uh, so today's episode is full of experiment because uh, half of the things in my pantry are short. So uh, this version of mushroom is something that I've never prepared. So if I'm posting this video, will uh, it'll be obviously uh, a, be a unique recipe that I want all of you to try. Also, please do watch the video till the end because I want to give you some tips uh, and how you can convert this uh, recipe. This recipe is easily convertible uh, into whatever ingredients you have. So I'll be doing a short clip. Uh, watch till the end. And also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe down below uh, and uh, hit the bell, uh, bell icon because uh, you don't want to miss on the notifications. And also a little homework for all of you who are watching this video right now. So uh, I was in 7th uh, standard when I got to know this. Uh, it was my Sanskrit class. But for all of you who don't know this, uh, a little homework. Please go and search uh, what is the name for mushrooms in Hindi and you will be doomed for life. Okay, I quit eating mushrooms for a year after I got to know uh, what it was called in Hindi uh, because I had my own logics as a child. But I'm sure that's, that logic was not the correct one. Uh, but yeah, please do go right now and uh, Google it. I do not want to say it loud. Uh, I want uh, to just make you curious enough to go and search about it. And uh, yeah, let's get started. And also uh, watch till the end. Hello, hello guys. Let's get started. Otherwise, I might be thrown out of the house because it's already 10 o'clock and I am shooting a video while making a dinner. So, as I told you, I don't know what it's going to turn out into. Let's hope it turns out tasty. And uh, let's get started. So, I have diced one and a half cup of red onions, one cup of uh, capsicum, whatever green, uh, orange, whatever is available for you, uh, one finely chopped uh, tomato, two, uh, two tablespoons of garlic, one tablespoon of ginger, and uh, some cilantro. So I'll cut it according to whatever I need, and one green chili. I have soaked the butter mushrooms for almost 30 minutes now in water. Uh, while I chopped all of these, I used Amul butter to saute the uh, mushroom. So let's get started. So let the pan or the karhai heat for like about one minute and then add uh, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, olive oil or butter, jobi hai dal do. Add little bit of uh, around one teaspoon of cumin seeds, jeera and let it sizzle. It will take about 30 seconds. So just let it sizzle on low flame. And then once that's done, add uh, the garlics, the chopped garlics. Now I'll just add half cup of red onions, which was diced. And I'll keep half separately. Just uh, stir fry it until the onions lose its uh, flavor, the raw flavor. And then add uh, the half cup of, uh, sorry, full cup of tomatoes, the finely diced tomatoes. The reason I finely dice is because it is easier to cook take, and takes less time. So just fry it until uh, the tomato releases and reduces all the water now in a pan just toss the uh, mushrooms in with some butter and now again back to the kadhai so uh, the tomatoes and onions i have let it cool and i have uh, pureed it in my mixi and now in a pan i'm adding uh, the remaining garlic and ginger and the remaining uh, red onions and then one cup of capsicum and then I let it you know like stir fry it on simmer for like about one or two minutes and I don't want to overcook it I want the crunch to remain in uh, onion in the capsicum so I'll just not overdo it and once that's done then let's move ahead to the next step so I've diced, uh, finely diced the stems of the mushroom because मुझे वो ऐसे डालना पसंद नहीं है. So और इस घर में कुछ भी waste नहीं कर सकते. My mother will kill me. So I've just diced it finely uh, so that it doesn't kind of come in your mouth. And I've also added one uh, green chilies. And now I will uh, kind of fry it until uh, the it's cook uh, until it cooks a little bit. For about a minute or so 
before I move on to the next step which is adding the masalas into these uh, stir fried vegetables just fry it till it's a little cooked and now let's move on to adding the masalas so now for masalas I'm adding one, te uh, one teaspoon of haldi and one teaspoon of chili powder which is also homemade my mother is an expert of doing all the homemade things so that's what I have learned growing over the years with her and now I'll add the pureed uh, so gravy of, uh, I will that I had created earlier so into the stir fried vegetables, vegetables. And, yes, I am and now the key vegetable. ingredient experiment yes. ingredient is a dollop of ketchup so just add two to two and a half uh, tablespoons of ketchup it will also give it the color and the sweetness from the tomato ketchup and now after that let's move on to adding the next bit of the ingredient which is a cup of cheese so I'm just adding two cubes of cheese and stirring it and now we will add the key ingredient, another key ingredient, which is a teaspoon of soy sauce into this. So after adding the soy sauce, let's move on to adding one. Let's move on to tasting it because I'm still not sure about how it's going to turn out. And if I'm posting this video, just know that it really turned out well. It is one hell of an experiment. Now I'll add uh, one teaspoon of garam masala into it and then I'll just stir it, give it a good mix, mix. and once all the masalas and the cheese has melted and you know everything has come out now I'll add the mushrooms so the mushrooms have released a little bit of water but I'm going to add it along with it so that I don't need to add water, extra water. And now I'll give it a good stir. So now I'll add uh, two tablespoons of malai. You can actually add cream but I didn't have any so I'm just adding malai to this. And once uh, I've added malai, I will add the chopped coriander powder, uh, coriander. I will keep half for garnishing and I'll just add half and then give it a good stir. Also, I forgot to mention that I've added salt in this. Uh, I forgot to record it. So I've give I've added salt and I've then given it a good stir. And then I'll bring it to boil on simmer for about like 40 to 40 seconds to one minute. And then it's ready to serve. And it just took around half an hour to make this and the results were obviously I mean I tasted it so it was good so then I decided to post it I hope you try this and like this experiment hi guys uh, so this recipe turned out to be yeah so this recipe turned out to be really good uh, it was one hell of an experiment I had almost little bits of all the other uh, you know little bits of the ingredients uh, the reason I call it uh, call it they itchy mushrooms because uh, it is a mix of three cuisines uh, they see Italian and Chinese so I have named it as they itchy mushrooms uh, and you can actually uh, make this recipe easily at home even if you don't have mushrooms do not worry uh, use paneer uh, use potatoes potatoes are easily available and is almost there with all of us uh, so you can easily convert this recipe uh, but the result would be as good at as uh, you know using mushrooms uh, hope you like this video and if you did like this video do not forget to subscribe below and uh, thank you guys for watching